All right, so in this video, what I wanna do is show you how to classify iconic section fast. When I mean fast, I mean really fast. And we can do that when we know these special tricks, which I'm gonna go through with you, as well as explain to you by looking at the standard form of our iconic section. Now, if you're interested to know how to go from general form into standard form, I made a video right over here that you can go and check out that details that process step-by-step -step using completing the square. But if your only goal is just to be able to classify the iconic section, then this video is for you. Now, when we want to classify iconic section in general, form, rather than worrying about everything that's up here, the only thing we need to care about is our A and B. So when classifying our conic section, there's a couple things that we're going to compare. We're going to look at A times B. We're going to look at A is equal to B. And then we're going to look at two more products of A and B. Now, the first conic section that I want to explain to you is actually fairly basic. We could use this kind of definition for us. But in reality, we don't have to worry about it because the first definition of standard form here is a parabola. And what I want you to recognize about a parabola is that there's only one x squared, right? And it could only be one y squared, but there's only one term that's gonna be squared, right? There's only one binomial. So when I expand that out, I'm only gonna have one square term. So you might say, well, what's gonna happen then with the other term? Well, what that means is one of these coefficients has to be zero. It's either the a or the b because you only have one squared term. So what that means is if you were to multiply a times b, and you get a zero, then that tells you that that is a parabola. Now, the next example I wanna look at is going to be the circle. And what I want you to recognize here about the circle, see these two binomial squared? So we're gonna have an x squared and we are gonna have a y squared, right? But notice how these are being impacted the same, right? The sum of these two is equal to an r squared, but their coefficients or what they're being divided by is exactly the same, which in this case is one, but I could easily kind of rewrite, rechange that out if I wanted to. But either way, I know that A is equal to B. So when A is equal to B, I'm going to have a circle. Now the next two is we're gonna notice something that's just a little bit different, right? We're gonna again look at our products. So we have A times B is equal to zero. We have A is equal to B. Well, what else could we figure out with A times B? Well, I guess we could say, is it greater than zero? Or if it's less than zero. So if we go back to our standard form here, and we recognize that, well, an ellipse here, this is the equation for an ellipse. The ellipse always is separated, your binomial squares are all separated by addition. So no matter what my coefficients are, they're both gonna be positive. So a positive times a positive is always gonna give me a positive. So if I look at my equation in general form, and I have my a times on b, if I multiply them, and that's gonna give me a value that's greater than zero, then that's gonna tell me I have an ellipse. And the last example, you can definitely tell is going to be a hyperbola. But I wanna show you that this equation from a standard form tells us that this coefficient is positive, this coefficient is negative. Anything times a positive times a negative is gonna give you a negative, which would be less than zero, which means it's a hyperbola. Okay, so if you actually wanna see some examples of me working through this with multiple different problems in general form, then go ahead and check out my playlist that I have right up here in my card where I go over multiple different examples helping you classify conic sections in general form. But if you're ready to actually start learning what is it about these conic sections that we need to know, go ahead and check out my next video that I have available for you right here to get started learning all about the parabola and what you need to know. Cheers.